Welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm going to be previewing the round nine uh, event for the Formula One 2012 season. Um, should be a good one. Uh, I'll start off very quickly by quickly summarising the last race, but really um, it's a race you have to see. Um, superb result. Um, very difficult to predict, even until the last sort of few laps. Um, Chaos all the time. It was a very good Valencian Grand Prix. Um, in the past, it's been it's been really dull and uneventful, but uh, absolutely superb. Um, great spectacle, great drama, and I'm very pleased with the result. Uh, now, predictions wise, uh, I, I was looking good after qualifying, and then it went really really badly wrong. But then it maybe picked up. I don't know. I'm not too bothered. I'd rather have a very good race and. Um, be off on my predictions, so um, that kind of shapes up my predictions for this race as well. Now, so Britain going into round nine, marks pretty much halfway stage of the season. Um, news going in, um, well, um, McLaren looking to improve on their pit stops. I think they have a new kind of jack, um, possibly. I think they had a new jack last race as well, but maybe. Uh, this is an even more updated and improved, hypothetically, version of uh, the jack system for the pit stops. Um, and they've been struggling at pit stops to such an extent they've, they've made a lot of mistakes, um, a lot of pressure on them now, etc. So what they've done is they've been practicing a lot. Uh, apparently they've done up to 800 practice pit stops uh, over the last few days or something, so I guess that should bode well, and I'm, I'm sure they've done well in practice as well. I don't know, I put it mostly down to psychological pressure. They just need to be a bit more relaxed. It sounds strange, but a bit more relaxed about it, and I think they'd actually do a much better job. Um, also, um, yeah, the weather going into the Grand Prix, which is going to shape my predictions big time. Uh, the weather going into the British Grand Prix. Uh, June in Britain uh, was apparently very appalling. Uh, one of the sort of record months for the least amount of sunshine in the month so yeah the forecasts are also such um, that it's almost certainty of rain on Friday uh, qualifying should be a bit drier and there's less chance of rain but on Sunday for the race there's apparently a 70% chance of rain so um, looking good for an exciting Grand Prix uh, I feel a bit sorry for those that have, have gone to the or at least can go um, in the sense that they might get very, very wet over the, over the next few days. However, I'm sure that will make for an all the more uh, superb Grand Prix. So uh, they win overall. Um, so my predictions then, pretty quick fire, going with form. So Vettel for a sweep. Uh, he's going to get pole position. That will be number 34 or something crazy. Um, He'll be angry, of course, and want to really put out of his mind the retirement of the last Grand Prix. I think he'll be pretty fired up, and he's historically very good around uh, Britain, so... Um, Silverson seems to suit him and the Red Bull pretty well. So, Vettel Paul, Vettel win, and Vettel fastest lap. Um, fastest lap's always tough to predict, but it seems to make sense to go with what I presume to be the fastest package. Um, Hamilton second, again. Um, pretty keen to rectify point situation following the last Grand Prix. Um, he'll have the home crowd advantage. I think he'll be very fired up. I think he'll be very close to Vettel uh, the whole weekend. Um, I think it could be a close one. If it rains, I do fancy Hamilton over Vettel a little bit more, I guess, but um, should be a close one. So Hamilton second. Weber third. Um, consistency with the points. Um, did very well last race to uh, come up through the field. Um, odd circumstances, but still very well driven. He'll, he's on sort of a good bit of momentum. So Weber for third and Red Bull seems strong. Uh, Rosberg fourth um, hasn't had uh, a brilliant qualifying and his starts have been poor. So we haven't really seen Rosberg in an ultimate situation for a long time. But um, yeah, Rosberg and Mercedes, again, reasonable package. I think they'll be solid fourth. Um, Perez, bit of a wild card to get fifth. I don't think it's a strange prediction though. Um, tire conservation, if it comes to it, he's going to be there. He's had a strong, strong of results recently as well. And um, especially if it's a wet race, I uh, don't think it'll be strange at all to see a Sauber in fifth place. 
um, possibly higher. It's a slightly conservative estimate, actually. Alonso sixth, leading with points. Um, and the Ferrari, I think, I love, well, I think Alonso won in Silverstone last year, so that does bode well. He can certainly drive the car around. Uh, but that was under slightly different circumstances, rule changes, uh, etc. Um, yeah, I think Alonso, consistency again. Um, I don't think the Ferrari will be terribly fast. I don't think Massa will do much, but Alonso being Alonso, another solid sixth. Um, Jensen seventh, home crowd like Lewis. Um, but Jensen's had a poor string of results. And I don't think that it being Silverstone will suddenly make him drive that much faster. Uh, I think it'll be a slow building up process, but for him at this moment in time, seventh seems about right, I think. Um, so uh, rain could go, rain might help him. Uh, so that's something to watch out for. Um, the rest at eighth, Force India seems to be on a bit of a resurgence recently. Um, Quite strong showing last week, uh, last weekend, race weekend wise. Um, looks pretty positive. He didn't have uh, necessarily the it, the strategy didn't seem to play out quite as we'd expected, and he fluffed his qualifying. But potentials there, home crowd as well. The rest are a fa a f I fancy him for some quite decent points for the Force India eighth place. Uh, rounding out the top 10, it's difficult because um, really you've got so many drivers that could get into the top 10. Um, so it's, it's a, a bit of a guess, to be honest, but Maldonado, he can drive that Williams fairly quickly. They're, they're looking quite good. And he'll be uh, wanting to prove something, I think, as well. So I've got him down for ninth and two points. And really, it seems quite odd that I've only got Raikkonen down for one point in 10th, uh, and he's the only representative of the Lotus team in my top 10 but such is the competitiveness of just about every team in the top uh, few um, all of the time but at different times it's very strange um, so Raikkonen down for one point in 10th strange result if it rains I fancy him for more I sort of fancy Grosjean to do really really well perhaps in qualifying but then retire from the race uh, again um, unfortunately um, so yeah that really covers it I think for Tell uh, fastest lap um, should be a pretty good race. Um, I think it was an okay race uh, last year. It's going to be tough to follow Valencia, but um, a bit of wet weather could spice everything up uh, quite well. I think the Red Bull's really going to be quite dominant, unfortunately, uh, from a Ferrari perspective at least, and possibly a show perspective, but rain just about shakes any possible result up. Um, so, quite happy with my predictions. Um, qualifying's been really good this year, so... Um, it should be uh, should be pretty good, even if Vettel does start on pole, um, and it's shaping up pretty well. Um, Alonso's throwing superbly, as are a lot of the drivers actually. But um, yeah, it's looking very good, and looking forward to the race. Um, hopefully, we will see um, as well a full turnout. I think so as well. The new um, development areas and the. The wing grandstand, or I can't quite remember the name, but it's all very impressive. Uh, and recently, the turnout figures have uh, improved substantially. I think um, the weather being as bad as it looks, I don't think it'll do too much to do, to deter turnout. Besides, most people buy Formula One tickets way in advance anyway, so it's looking pretty good. Um, and uh, I do kind of fancy a, a Red Bull bit of domination, but I suppose it had to come sometime. Um, and regardless, should be a good race. So uh, those are my predictions. We'll see how they pan out. Join me next time for round ten. I forget where it is, but I'm sure it'll be coming up soon. Now that we're in the full European uh, stage of the season, so join me then. Uh, thanks for watching.